Harbor. A quick 25 lap 4,000 to win preliminary night here at 81 Speedway with a World of Outlaws Case Construction Lake Models coming to green. And at turn number one, it's going to be Kyle Bronson showing the way early here in the 40B. Here comes Brandon Shepard, the B5, looking good on the bottom, trying to take the lead from Bronson. Bronson leads us down the backstretch. Gustin digging down low in 19R. Off of corner number four, Bronson leads lap number one. Gustin and Young Hands battle it out there for the third position. Gustin has it. What troubles? The 199 is sobbing up and over the cushion there and turns one and two. He gathers it back up to speed. Madden gets around him in 44. Off a of corner number four. It's still Bronson, Shepard, Gustin, Young Hands, and Shirley, the top five. Uh, Colby Moore, remember, had steering issues in low insulation qualifying. He gathers it back up, and he has trouble here and turns one and two in the number 19M. Meanwhile, Bronson overshot the cushion there. Turn number two, and he overshoots it in four, and Shepard takes the lead. Down the front straightaway, Brandon Shepard, new race leader in B5. Bronson stumbled in two while well, that carried in three and four, and the B5 capitalizes, and he takes the lead. Both of those drivers run the bottom of the speedway. Kyle Bronson hanging on to second, and we have Caution. Caution is out around the speedway. I believe it's Kratzer, and Kratzer, I believe, lost his left front in the 47. Yep, tire bouncing in turn number two as we got a wild Hoosier. Comes to a stop down the back straightaway, and he's going to need the hook here. So there you see the left front coming off of Chris Kratzer's car. Turning things around here this season, of course, making that big switch to Shepard Riggs Racing and, of course, a Longhorn, and right now that B5 looking good. He's already won one preliminary this season. Can he win here tonight? Back to green we go here at 81. Gustin on the outside, and he takes second away from Bronson. Bronson slides up the racetrack. Here comes Young Hands, and surely, oh, Kyle Bronson lost three positions on the restart. The 40B may be in trouble. Off a of corner number four, and here comes Chris Smokey Madden, the 44 of Madden on the move. How about Chris Madden trying to crack the top five, and he does the 44 on the move. Shirley to the inside of Young Hands, down the back straightaway. Young Hands holds off Shirley. How about the Kansan running third? But right now, Madden peeking to the inside of the 40B. Bronson shuts the door off of turn number four. He'll slide up the racetrack and Shirley drives away with the fourth position. So it's Shepard, Gustin, Younghand, Shirley. Now Shirley in the wall and Chase Younghand's in the wall. Both drivers in the wall at the same time and the caution is out around the speedway. This top side, very tricky. All right, caution lights are out. Off of corner number four, 15 laps in, 10 laps to go here in preliminary number one with a World of Outlaw Case Construction Late Models. Ryan Gustin, so good on these restarts. He'll go after Shepard, but Shepard takes off. Here comes the 3S of Shirley and Kyle Bronson. Not giving up. Here comes Madden. They're three wide. In it turns three and four. Shirley down low. Bronson up high. Madden follows in 44. Down the front straightaway. It's Shepard. Gustin and Bron No, it's Shirley. Shirley has third over Bronson at the line. But now Kyle Bronson back to his outside. He'll take third away off a of corner number two. And Gustin gives it one more shot. He'll go to the inside, but down the back straightaway. He will stay true. To the top side. Will he go low to protect? Nope. He will stay up high and off of corner number four. He will start on the pole. Heat race number one tomorrow. How about it? Brandon Shepard wins prelim number one. B Shep Brandon Shepard. We knew we needed to be out front tonight because that sets us up for tomorrow night for the big money. So uh we had a really good car tonight. We didn't change a whole lot. It's a brand new, uh, brand new Longhorn chassis, so uh, hats off to them guys that build a really great race car and uh, the car was good man I can't complain we made a few little changes throughout the night but nothing drastic and the track was uh, good like it usually is so uh, hats off to the track crew and um, you know like I said it was just a team effort worked our butts off the past couple weeks uh, Corey cousin Corey uh, Justin Blake Uncle Ed Chuck my dad my grandpa Scott Riggs Jason Riggs, Tara, Jack, uh, like I said, my my beautiful wife, Michaela, my daughter, Addison, my son, Jace, my son, Baylor, uh, Kaylee, everybody, everybody that's involved with this team, it uh, means the world to us, and uh, we're 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 getting closer. We're definitely not exactly where we want to be, but we're getting closer. We had a pretty bad vibration tonight, um, pretty much the whole feature there, so we got to figure that out. Um, but overall, is you know, we're where we need to be. We got a good starting spot to, to start off the night tomorrow, and uh, we couldn't do it without all of our great sponsors either. Uh, Valvoline, True Timber, uh, Tom Paulson, my buddy Vern, uh, Coast, Bilstein Shocks, Denny Woodworth, Attorney of Law, uh, Corrigan Race Fuels, Goose's Pub and Eatery, Cornet Racing Engines, uh, like I said, Longhorn Chassis, 
Wild Gear Rigs Drilling Solution, Shepherd Auto Sales and Salvage. Wouldn't be here without my dad and grandpa. And uh, my dad won again tonight, so that was pretty cool too. And um, I know I'm forgetting some people, um, but it's a, definitely a team effort and uh, means the world to us to be out here doing what we love. Preliminary feature number two of the World of Outlaw Case Construction Lake Models coming to green here at 81 Speedway. And at turn number one, it's going to be the 32 of Bobby Pierce showing the early race lead off of turn number two. Here comes Tanner English down the back straight away. The Bluegrass Bandit looking for the lead. He'll think of a slider off of corner number four. Slide jump for the lead. Tanner English leads lap number one. Bobby Pierce with a crossover. Now he'll go for the lead in turns one and two. Ho <laughs> ho, the track is in prime condition. Nick Hoffman in the wall. Down the back straight away. Pierce in the lead. Tanner back to his inside. The 97 of Dillard's there. Tanner thinks about another slider. Pierce hits the wall off of corner number four. Tanner English leads this time. And here comes the thriller, Kay Dillard. The inside of Pierce, side by side for second. Clanton and Herb follow. Down the front straight away, excellent battle for the lead. They're side by side. Pierce down low. Tanner English up high. Pierce takes the lead. Off of corner number two. Yes, he's got it. The 32 appears back in command. Tanner English, though, going to battle it back out on the outside. Off of corner number four. Pierce back to the lead off of four. Clanton slips up. Three car battle for the fourth position. Give it to Dennis Herb. Dennis Herb has it. Clanton going to saddle back up that middle of the top side off of quarter number four. Hoffman trying to crack the top five. And trouble. We got the number 10 in the wall. That's TJ Janosik. Tanner trying to set himself up good for tomorrow and have an opportunity for the big 30K. Back to green we go. Three wide already. Dillard, Clanton, and Dennis are battling it out for the third position. Kay Dillard on the top side, down the back straight away. How about the 97? He's rolling here. The number 28 of Dennis Herb hanging on to fourth, battle for fifth. Nick Hoffman and Clanton. The 97 of Kay Dillard has it rolling here in the top side. The 97 on the move. He'll go alongside Tanner English. The 96 and 97 going at it. We got trouble. Dustin Walker and the 92S of Delbert Smith. Right back underway. The smooth operator leads us in 32. Tanner English hanging on to second. K. Dillard with a great start. He's running that top side. K. Dillard on the top side looking good. Dennis Irving Clanton battle it out there for the fourth position. Nick Hoffman follows a nine with Gordy Gundaker and Sorensen making a comeback in the 28. Off a of corner number four. This time it's still the 32 appears showing the way. Over Tanner English. K. Dillard, the 28 of Dennis Irving Jr. And Ina Hoffman in the 25 of Clanton. And now Tanner English to the top side. He'll get around the 97 at Dillard, and Dillard slips. The 28 at Dennis Herb gets around him for third. There you see all the battle on Dirt Vision. The 28 at Dennis Herb trying to get around the 96 via Tanner English for second, and Dillard and Hoffman battle it out right behind them. That's the battle for the fourth position. The 9 of Hoffman on the top side. The 97 at Dillard down low. Hoffman now going to saddle up on the outside, and here comes the number 9. He's going to pop a nos. The 9 is on the move. Off a of corner number 4, the 32 of Pierce. Checked out here in 32. But the battle for third continues between Hoffman and Dennis Herb. Those two added wheel to wheel at the line. Too close to call. It was the nine of Hoffman. Back straight away, I should say. It's still Tanner English over Hoffman. But Hoffman continues to tickle the throttle on the top side, and he's got it this time. The number nine of Hoffman is closing in. How about the number nine? Now we'll see if he could close in on the 32 of Pierce. Ten laps to go. And down the back straight away, Pierce gets around Leonard and Smith. Now going to get to work on it. looks like McGee may be off the pace in the letter X car. But off of corner number four this time, caution is out. They were going to come to the white flag, but the caution is out. This X of McGee has a right rear flat tire. Green flag back in the air here in prelim. Number two at 81 Speedway. Tanner English has one more shot to get to the 32 of Pierce. He'll show him some sheet metal on the bottom. Hoffman to third, down the back straight away. And Tanner English back to second on the restart. Hoffman slips back to third. Dillard and Herb follow. White flag in the air, one to go for the 32 of Bobby Pierce. The 96 via Tanner English hanging on to second. The number nine of Hoffman on the outside. The 20 to Dennis Herb follows. Down the back straightaway. Pierce has looked solid all night. Was quick time overall. He was in group B. If I'm not mistaken, 27th car out, and he's going to win prelim number two. Bobby Pierce winner in the 32. Tanner English second with Hoffman, Dennis Herb, and Kay Dillard. What a photo finish there for fourth. Give it to the 28 of Dennis Herb. Hey, there you have it, race fans. Climbing out of the car. How about it? For the smooth operator, Bobby Pierce winner of preliminary number two. You know, starting off in qualifying there, we nailed that and uh, went on to the feature. Uh, thought that uh, the first few laps made me a little nervous. Um, 
the tire we chose was a little different than them and uh, had to get it going. And I don't know what Nick had on there, but he was coming at the end. And uh, I, I didn't want to see that caution there at the end, but also uh, we had, I, th I think we had it all under control. And uh, can't thank my guys enough for all their help. And uh, I can't thank all these fans enough for watching, Dirt Vision, everybody, um, all the sponsors on this car. I got to give a huge shout out to them. Uh, Poker Chucking, Rio Grande Waste Services, Massey Valley Transportation, Bloomington Normal Truck Performance, uh, Toyota Danville, Ted Brown, Buddha, Lika, uh, A Plus Vacuum. Um, they weren't able to make it at Fairbury the other night. Uh, Carnegie Towing, VP Racing Fuels, Bill Steen, Longhorn, Big Hill Race Engines. That combo was hitting really good tonight. Uh, Swiss Springs and um, everyone I'm forgetting about. Huge thank you to them. Um, it's awesome to get the win tonight. You know, we get a really good starting spot for tomorrow and see what we can do. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.